This is Tim Hegarty from VTC doing the C++ Fundamentals video series. We want to talk about I.O. streams for a minute so that we can communicate with the outside world, get information in from the keyboard or from files, or even we can create streams out of information that is already in our program, like strings. Strings can be treated as if they were streams and read off into integers and have formatting uh, performed on them. That's a little deeper than a fundamental, but it's possible. The streams, iStream and OStream, input and output, are both derived from iOS, uh, the iOS class. The iOS class is derived from the iOS base class, and the iOS defines the templates of IO streams, and the iOS base defines the non-templated uh, methods of the class. As we can see, iStream implements input operations, OStream implements output operations, and the way we normally see these is by using formatted input and output, and that's most often performed with two operators, one called the extraction operator, which looks like a, a double greater than, and the insertion operator, a double less than. Let's take a look at uh, some simple code. Here we're including IO stream so that we pick up the streams and uh, C in and C out are created and that's just like our old standard in and standard out that we used to have in C. Uh, now in C++ we have these streams and there you see it's part of standard O stream and then uh, standard C out. So C out is a uh, derivation of O stream and it is the, the standard output. So here we're going to enter a number and there's our insertion character and that is going to say put enter a number to uh, the screen, the C out. Then we are going to use the extraction and extract a couple of characters from the C in, the I stream. As you can see that that's an I stream there. And we'll put that into N, which is our integer. And then we'll put out, you have entered, and then we'll put N. And you see how this flows through here to get to the output with this uh, insertion operator. And then that's an end of line. And uh, we'll just simply uh, put a new line out to the screen. Now we can put some uh, special uh, iOS base operators like hex. Uh, so if we put extract information from C in, run it through hex and extract that to n, it will do a hex conversion for us into an integer. And we can see that when it runs it back out again. Uh, with a word here, we will set the width on the CN so that we can only, we will only allow 10 characters to come in. And then we will uh, after we set that limit on here with the width method, we can then use cn and extract to a string. Uh, once we ex extract that to our string, which is only 10 characters long, uh, we can say the first nine characters are, and we can run string to the c out, and of course our end of line. So let's run this, take a look at it. We'll enter a number 47. You've entered 47. Let's enter a hexadecimal number, and we know an easy one is FF. Decimal equivalent is 255. We know that to, to be correct. And we'll put a word in. The first nine characters are compiler, and we have communicated with the outside world using I.O. streams, standard in and standard out. Now, of course, there's a lot more to streams. Uh, we have file manipulation and all of, all of that opening and closing files and such, which is very similar to uh, the methods that we've used in the past, but much more uh, modular now in uh, C++. So we have uh, methods and operators that work on uh, file streams. But again, uh, a file stream is just exactly the same thing that we've seen because C in and C out are just file streams uh, that have opened the keyboard or opened the screen. So the uh, the fundamental of the I.O. streams applies all the way across the board. Uh, C++ is much more generic along those lines.